All right, in this video, we're going to cover the Android App Store on Amazon.com. Now, it's pending if that's going to be able to be called an App Store because Apple is actually suing Amazon because of it, because they believe they have a patent on the name App Store. But regardless, we're going to cover that in this video right now. Now, as you can see, I've actually finally customized my Motorola Zoom here with my wallpaper here and you can get this wallpaper off of the internet if you just look up Android wallpaper it should be on the first page if you google it and check images and it actually works out nice I have all my my apps set up that it doesn't interfere with a little Android there of course I have a fifth page but I don't really use a fifth page right now um, because I'm the type of person that only uses a, a select number of apps but uh, you know you have five home screens here if you want to load it up with apps that you use now like I said we're going to cover the Amazon App Store what I was going to do is I was going to show you how to download the Amazon App Store on your Android device and I was going to use my Motorola Atrix to do so unfortunately being that it's an AT&T device it's locked down at the moment and you cannot load up or sideload apps on there and you can't use third-party app stores on it at the moment I tried you're not able to do that now supposedly AT&T is gonna fix that uh, but I can't show you how to do that but what I can do is I can show you how to update the Android marketplace from Amazon because I downloaded it day one and now I actually have an update here. Now in my lower right hand corner here I have a notification that says update available for my Amazon App Store and it says there is an update available for Amazon App Store would you like to download it so I'm going to click on that now this is what you're going to see when you try and load the Amazon App Store onto your Android device you're going to get a warning here and basically it uh, you the security on the device blocks installation of applications not obtained by the Android market so to get around that if you have a stock Android device like this or an Android device which is able to do this unlike the Atrix and hopefully like I said that gets fixed soon it just gives you a little dialog box here that says install blocked for security your phone is set to block installation of applications not obtained from Android market so in order to do that in order to enable your device to do that you have to go to settings here now once you're in settings as you can see applications here what you want to do is you want to go over here where it says unknown sources allow installation of non market applications I'm going to click on that and it says attention your tablet and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by applications from unknown sources you agree that you are solely responsible for any damage to your tablet or loss of data that may result from using these applications now that sounds scary but it is only Amazon so as long as you're smart about this you shouldn't run to any problems so I'm gonna hit OK on that and you see here the little checkbox checks off that you can download from unknown sources okay so I'm gonna back out of this now so that's how you enable your Android device to either download the Amazon App Store for Android in and of itself or download apps from that App Store now if that message scared you at all don't worry it is Amazon and it's a trusted source uh, they're a very good company but if it scares you don't worry you can always change it back so once you've downloaded the Amazon App Store and maybe some apps from it for instance I downloaded the Angry Birds uh, Rio version here as you can see here they're actually giving a promotion on Amazon right now where they're giving it away for free they're giving the app away for free it's only a buck normally but hey you save save a dollar save 99 cents but once you download all of that you can go back into your settings and click the checkbox off so you no longer are able to download apps or programs from unknown sources so then you lock your system down again but you still have the apps on there and the app store so if you're afraid for the security of your device you can toggle that on and off whenever you want to go into that store it's an extra step but if you're security minded then that's something that you might want to do if you don't care then you can leave the 
checkbox checked where it says you can download things from unknown sources. That's just a quick tip. Now we're actually going to check out the test drive feature on the Amazon App Store for Android, which is a great idea as far as I'm concerned. So why don't we go over and move over to my desktop computer and check that out. Okay, so I'm here on my computer to show you the Amazon App Store for Android here, as you can see right in front of you. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you on this is the test drive feature. So I'm just going to click on this here. And here we go. First thing you see in the center here is Test Drive Now. So this is going to enable you to test apps without actually buying them. Now this Newsweek app is actually for free so it's not really a big deal. You could actually download this and try it for yourself without actually having to worry about it. But this Test Drive feature is great for apps that you actually might be buying. We're going to try this one out and we're going to see if we can test drive another one. Now the first thing that pops up is a window and you see here you see a representation of an Android device complete with the home button, the menu button, the back button, the search button and even a volume up and down here. So it's basically a virtualized version of an Android phone or an Android device and this is the Newsweek mobile app. Now you're given a 30 minute window here of time to actually test drive it. Like I said, this one's for free here, as you can see. But uh, you know, you could test. I'm going to test drive this just so you can see what it's all about, and then we're going to try and find another one uh, and see if we can test drive one that's not free. But uh, it says right here, control the app by clicking and dragging. So I just click and drag. So it would be just like I'm using my finger on this, and I can scroll through all the stories uh, from Newsweek here. And if I wanted to click on one of them and bring up the app here and then I could share or save it. Uh, let's see if I can, if the back button works, back button works, let's see if the menu button works. Menu button works just like an Android device. Let's see if the search button works. Search didn't work and let's see if home works. Understandable because you're just test driving the app, you're not test driving a phone. Uh, you can actually turn the orientation on this which is cool. I can click it and it'll bring it to the side and I can use the volume rocker although this there's no volume on this we're gonna try something in a second that actually has volume so that's basically test driving this Newsweek app now there's just two things to note over here on the side it says features that access device features or hardware such as camera GPS etc may not function as they will on your mobile device which stands to reason because I don't have a GPS in my computer here or a camera in this case so it makes sense. Also it says keyboard input is not currently supported at this time. So I assume that's coming at a later date. So let's try another app here that we can actually try the volume on and hopefully one that is that costs money. So if you notice over here to the right hand side of the screen here it says test drive before you buy. I'm gonna click on that right now. All right, so it brings up this page. It says, test drive some of our favorite apps now. We have hundreds of apps to test drive. Here are some of our favorites. So these are the apps that they choose to highlight on here. And I guess uh, you just can test drive others if you run upon them and it allows you to test drive. Most of these here look like they are free apps, but uh, there are a couple here that, that, that are pay for apps. And uh, let's see if we can find one. There's Solitaire, Sudoku that you pay for. Why don't we try this one? Flight Frenzy Deluxe. It's a buck fifty normally, and uh, it says available instantly for your connected Android device. We're going to try it before we buy it. So we're going to test drive this. So here's the Flight Frenzy Deluxe page here, and we're going to click Test Drive Now. All right, and it's connecting. Now the main reason I want to try something like this is because you have the volume rockers and I want to try those out. So I don't hear anything yet. Ringer volume is up. Silent ringtone selected. So let's see if we can go to the settings part here. And music is on. I don't necessarily hear anything right now. Turn the volume up on my computer. So maybe that's not working right now, but let's go back and let's see. Why don't we just play this and see how it works? Now I'm wondering if this is actually. 
Okay, let's see how this works here. You can hear the volume now. Turning it up, turning it down. This is really cool. This is, uh, this is something that should be in the Google Marketplace, to tell you the truth. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm controlling this plane here. So you're basically an air traffic controller, and you got to make sure these things don't crash, I would imagine, which I'm not so good at. Let's see if we can get the helicopter to land on the helipad. Zero vehicles landed. Okay, I had a crash in midair. I should not be a... <laughs> I should not be an air traffic controller. My name, I can actually put my name in there. Now let's see if my keyboard works on here. It said over here keyboard input is not currently supported, but let's see if it does anyway. No. Okay, it doesn't work. And you can't click on it to bring up an on-screen keyboard. But very cool. I like this. If you want to try it out, go to head over to Amazon right now, Amazon.com, and check it out for yourself and see if you, you know, you want to try before you buy, basically, if you have an Android device. Very cool. This should be implemented in the regular Android marketplace. Amazon is very good at what they do, so I'm not surprised that they're putting out a first rate, a first class Android marketplace here. And I'm glad to see it. I think it's good to have multiple marketplaces out there. Now, full disclosure here, I am an Amazon affiliate. I love Amazon the store. I think they offer a lot of great things. If you want to buy something on the internet, chances are you can find it at Amazon. So if you want to support my fledgling little YouTube channel here, please check the notes below this video. In those notes, I'll include my Amazon affiliate link. If you want, you can click on that and you can do all your regular shopping that you would normally do through Amazon. Uh, just do it through my link and then you're supporting my channel if you want and I'd appreciate it very much. So that pretty much does it for this video. Go check out the Amazon Android App Store for yourself and try out this test drive feature because it's actually really, really cool. And you know, you can maybe see apps that you wouldn't normally test, especially if they're pay for apps because you don't want to necessarily buy them before you try them. Now you can actually test drive some of them. So that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.